Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Every time I am even a bit critical of Kabam, I have people who oftentimes obviously don't actually watch the videos. Like when I did a, a video yesterday on the Overseer bug and I talked about the Eternity of Pain should be a really, really hard, if not a seemingly impossible fight. But if it's bugged, that is an issue. You know, you want the fight to be fair and you want Kabam to be consistent with how they uh, apply the description of a champion and how they should work in this case the auto block when you're not being hit with a basic attack versus like an intercept or a special but uh, regardless like I had people commenting on that video it's the eternity of pain you know it should be hard and I'm like I agree I said that like three times in the video but people don't want to watch videos they just want to comment and argue and so I'm sure because this is technically a critical conversation uh, about the new haunted node. There'll be people who say, look at this guy just making videos to hate. If I really did hate this game, you should pity me more than anybody else. Because I would be the ultimate masochist without even talking about the masochism node. Because I play this game more than I do anything else so many days a week. More than I sleep. More than I talk to my family, more than I eat, um, especially in the summer when I'm not teaching college classes. So I'm not trying to complain just to complain. But at the same time, I have a lot of conversations behind the scenes with subscribers. You know, it's one of the things I really take pride in doing, even after five years of videos. And the feedback has been consistent from you all. Prof, please do a video on why this should be the only time that the Haunted Node should exist. Now, uh, Cavalier rewards have been impressively buffed, you know? I don't know if it's as impressive as the Uncollected buff, uh, but for the record, it's still really nice to have the rewards that we have, uh, given that Basically, it's been Thronebreaker difficulty for the last year plus in this, but without Thronebreaker rewards. You know, I don't mind if it gets harder if you make the rewards better, but you know, one without the other is is pretty bad. So, you know, I could make a video on how if you bring in the wrong champions against Gore, and I better make sure that Do Not Disturb is definitely on. Uh, if you bring in the wrong champions against Gore. It feels like you're fighting like a Cavalier Event Quest version of Realm of Legends Wolverine because the region is so crazy. Like, I made the mistake of bringing in, I think it was like Immortal Abomination and uh, Nick Fury against Gore, who are normally like, those are attackers that I feel, even if I don't knock the defender out, I can get 10, 15% damage minimum on him. Oh, how about... I just got negative 50% damage. I think Immortal Abomination was so bad, I got him down to like half health, and then he started recovering his health so fast, I just had to quit out. It was obviously a terrible decision. But, you know, thankfully I have Void and Null now and other champions that can help counter that region. But a lot of people don't. And in that case, like, you're going to probably be using Unit Man, you know? There, there just is no other way to put it. But that fight, I feel like, you know, we've seen that before. So I'm not that concerned. However, and there is a big however in all of this. Haunted, not only is it a BS node that's the opposite of fun. I always tell my students, some things put the FU in fun. The haunted node is one of them. But maybe it's just me. Although I know that's actually not true because I've talked about this with other people who've agreed. Uh off of YouTube. That AI is like programmed to dash back. And when you combine that with the crazy damage, if you are too close when you bait a heavy from Hella, like one of her heavies, I don't even know if I really know why this happened, but one of her heavies took all of my health. I had like 85% health and it's just gone. And this is from a six star rank four defender or attacker, I should say. Uh, so, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like Root, which of course we've seen Root come back now, but too, but and maybe some people like Root and they think I'm being a hater, but can we all agree that Haunted 
should be done by now. I mean, I know these rewards are great. And I also know that Kabam has an incentive to make it harder this month because of this. Because Cavalier Event Quest Exploration, for those of you who have the enough progressions to see this, are now given 17,100 Tier 6 Basic Catalyst Fragments, which is a really impressive amount, and 13,500 Tier 3 Alpha Catalyst, which you can see, if I just do that and nothing else uh, this month, I can form my Tier 3, and then I'll just have uh, a relatively small amount of tier six basic left to form my next rank four also claim your rewards kids um so speaking of null the live tally was 58 percent that he will be my next rank four and you can see i've got two out of three tier six basic and tier three alpha and then i, I would have seven seven rank four six stars which is the stupid number but in general i think this should be it for haunted i think it's a bs node that's not fun and the ai is is kind of almost rigging in a sense and maybe i'm gonna get a lot of pushback for being negative here but i think i'm voicing this not just for for me but for quite a few members of the community so i'm confident it's a video worth making thanks for watching youtube have a good one.